So today, I want to try out, show off the idea of Chin Pao and Goldango. I think it'll be really fun. So join me in this journey to see what we can concoct. So here's what I've got working with right now. I'm not saying it's the most optimal deck for this. This is just what I have built offhand and I think it might be fun to try out. Starting off, is Chin Pao. Chin Pao being a supporter, I would say, in this deck because of its ability. I'm sure you already know the ability, Shivery Chill. It allows you to search your deck. If it's in the active spot, you can search your deck for two basic water energy and put it into your hand. That's pretty awesome. And normally, you want to put that energy on him by using Baxcalibur to accelerate that and then big, get big knockouts with his move. But we're gonna do something kind of different with him in a supporter role. We're also gonna need four Gimigul, um, because Goldengo's the main one. Um, you'll have to excuse some, I've got Japanese here, a little bit of Japanese, and then I still need some Goldengo, but I have my own proxy Daijuru, um, and that works. But yeah, we have four Goldengo. There are two different Goldengo in these sets to choose from in the upcoming Paradox Rift. We have one for 70 HP, and we have, that one has a two retreat cost, and we have one for 50 HP, and it's a one retreat cost, but it also has Call for Family, which is a way to get some basics out. Um, since I don't have the most amount of like nest balls or things to utilize to search out. But there's definitely a lot of search that comes into play between Goldengo's ability, which is going to be the coin game thing, his <laughs> shenanigans. With Goldengo here, the ability is bonus coin, and so once during your turn, you may draw one card. If this Pokemon's in the active spot, draw two instead. That's really awesome as well. Um, and then the Gold Rush is the main attack. One metal energy, and it says discard any number of basic energy cards from your hand, and the attack does 50 damage for each card discarded in this way. And it does not specify that it has to be metal. It can be basic water, it can be basic metal, and so that's what we have in this deck. So there's a lot of draw with him um, being done. There's a lot of draw with energy being done there, if she can get in the active. Um, I'm also running the just a single Pidgey Pidgeot Rare Candy. Um, I figure, once again, maybe it'll come up, and that's just another way to search. There is Radiant Greninja, of course. He's utilized a whole lot, as well as the very familiar Manaphy on the bench. The new Jirachi card also came, and... Uh, this one has the ability, Stellar Veil. Prevent all damage counters from being placed on your benched Pokemon by effects of attacks used during your opponent's basic Pokemon. So that's kind of if we're going against Sableye or something in Lost Box, but we aren't today or anything, but I just wanted to show off the Jirachi as well. After that, um, I do have a stadium being used, Skater's Park. Whenever either player's active Pokemon retreats, put any basic energy that would be discarded into their hand instead of the discard pile. So that's very handy. Another way to get it in hand for Goldengo. <laughs> and then as for getting energy and stuff, um, Letter of Encouragement is a big one. You can use this card only if your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last. Search your deck for up to three basic cards, basic energy cards, excuse me, reveal them and put them into your hand and then shuffle your deck. Pretty nice. And it's a good way to just grab energy if you go down with a knock. Palpad is familiar. Shuffle up to two supporter cards from your discard pile into your deck. That's cool. Uh, might as well. Boucher kind of looks odd in the deck, maybe. I don't know um, if it's great, but search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon and put that onto that Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. You can use this card during your first turn or a Pokemon that was put into play this turn and your turn ends though, but I don't know, maybe that can come up if we need to evolve immediately. <laughs> like I said, for search, there's three Ultra Balls and the Heavy Ball to make sure there's not anything important in the prizes. Um, and then we have a typical Escape Rope. I should probably play a little bit more um, because we want to do switching between Chien Pao and Goldengo. The main switching I've got is also here. With We have Escape Rope, we also have Switch. It'd probably be a good idea to maybe get more <laughs> Switch or something. Um, but 
cross switcher is also very awesome and important and I like using it. Um, it's a definitely a good way to just slam, wham, bam, get it done. And then of course, we're gonna also need the energy accelerate, like all that. Um, and with that, I've got superior energy retrieval. Once you discard two other cards from your hand, put four basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Then as for the supporters, let's look. We've got Iono, classic Iono. We have Penny. Put one of your basic Pokemon and all attached cards into your hand. Could come into handy, could, could be something. A random professor's research, might as well. Grush is here. Draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. If none of your Pokemon have any energy attached, draw cards until you have seven in hand. And then boss's orders, of course, classic, the usual. And then Irida and Adamant are together for once. <laughs> so Adamant can help with steel, um, with metal. You can use this card only if you discard two metal energy cards from your hand, search your deck for two cards, put them into your hand, and shuffle your deck. So there you go. You can discard and then get something and then get that energy back, probably hopefully with like later on with more. And Irida, search your deck for a basic water Pokemon and an item card. And then you get to put that in your hand. So it's an easy way to search out Chi and Pao and an item card. So yeah, that's kind of what's cooking, what's going on. Oh, and the energy. Um, I've kind of got a wonky con, let's see. So you only need one metal energy for Goldango's attack, but of course it's nice to have more. Um, I think I've got some, it's mostly water. So that's two, let's see, three, four. Um, you can definitely stack up more energy. I've seen a lot more energy that people have played as well. Um, but here's a lot of water energy and then here's some of that. So I guess let's let's see how it goes, how it plays. Let's just do something. And now, although space is limited, although I'm playing with myself, let's just kind of see how it might play out. Let's get seven out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there a basic? Yeah, we got Chi and Pao's and Gimmigol and stuff. Um, it's probably best to put Chi and Pao up. Do six. And then over here, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see, there's, uh, we're doing Iron Valiant. I don't have Iron Valiant cards yet, but I wanna play with it. So we have Jugulus Iron Valiant. I think we will, yeah, probably put you up. Cause we have a future booster thing. Um, and then we can get free retreat and then use Tachyon Bits or whatever his attack is to move him from the bench. Anyway, I'm shooting first with here. Let's see how I might go. <laughs> so let's put down Gimmigol. Um, we already have a lot of energy. I'll put down Chi and Pao. Um, might as well do Shivery Chill now. We are going to search, grab that, um, grab that. I think that's all we can do for right now. So let's attach for turn and pass it off. Okay, over here, we have Iron Valiant. Um, Iron Valiant is a cool card that we get. Now it's new, once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to the active spot, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. I am going to want to attach the future booster energy to Iron Jugulus so that we have free retreat and attacks do 20 more damage and his big five basic energy attack now is three. Um, so yeah, we'll attach that as the tool. What else? We do have Arvin to search out a tool and item. Um, or we can put down a town store or this let's see I think 
We can play down Arvin. And let's look. So probably Nest Ball and a tool. Let's see. Turbo Energizer might be good. I'm excited to play with these tools. They're very interesting. So with the Nest Ball, going back in, searching for a basic, we will get another Valiant. <laughs> and then, I think just probably attach return over here now. Here's give a ghoul again. <laughs> we are gonna need to find the evolution, but we can't right now. Um, we can shivery chill and continue to build up energy. I guess normally there's a threat of your opponent obviously like Ionoing or something or disrupting your hand, but for now um, we're just playing with what we've been shown and uh, yeah, let's try that. So we're piling up the energy, need to get that Goldango or um, some other stuff going. Definitely. That was the worry, but yeah. We'll do that, we will attach. And because of course we don't have Bax Caliber, we're not doing the crazy um, multiple attachments, of course. <laughs> um, this is definitely different, but still can attack, discard two and do 120. And that brings it down to just 10. So that's pretty good. Let's do that. Discard. And 120. Awesome. Okay, cool. We got Zatu. Zatu, or I mean Natu into Zatu is a great draw supporter. Hopefully we're going to see that. Um, but we are going to retreat. Have free retreat with the future booster energy capsule. Um, Iron Valiant comes up. Iron Valiant also does two damage counters um, when it gets shot up into the active spot. So when this Pokemon moves from the bench to the active spot, put two damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. So let's do that for 20. I've got like a mix of damage counters, so 20. There we go. Let's see. And then how about we... We could um, do this. The Turbo Energize, so I guess we'll attach it as a Pokemon tool. Um, it says we're gonna need one energy, but search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and attach them to your bench Pokemon any way you like, and then shuffle. So I guess we will use that. Let me get the energy. Gonna get two psychic energy onto there. Um, how to attach, let's see. So onto the bench. I think we're just gonna go for the other Iron Valiant. This gets discarded and counts as the attack, I believe, yeah. Um, but we're gonna put that onto there. Let's see. That sounds good. Okay, okay, Krusha, oh man. Um, actually, draw cards until you have five in hand. Um, can we do this because we don't have energy? We can draw seven. <laughs> But I think we have seven. Yeah, we're good. So no, no, no. Um, we can go ahead and hmm. Although it's not a lot of damage. Oh, here we go. So let's maybe. Uh, I guess we can just attach. That's all kind of for now. All right, Zatu. I will put Zatu down. I know the bench is kind of, it's it's smashed, it's small. Uh, let's get, let's see. Let's put down Town Store. So 
Once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a Pokemon tool card, reveal it, and put it into their hand. We're gonna do that. Um, and we're gonna search out the future booster so that we can get out of here. So let's get that. Um, cause it is about time to attack. Let's do that. Pretty much. I think we're gonna go for that. Attach it to here for the free retreat. Go here, do four, another 20. Let's see. There's a much more optimal way, I think, to do this, but it's okay. We're doing this. Um, and then we can attach for turn and do laser blade. It's a bit of an overkill and we can't use the attack next turn or this Pokemon can't. Hopefully we will find a way to switch it, but yeah. So let's do that for the knockout for two prizes. Awesome. So far, we don't have Goldango. Sad. <laughs> but let's put Gimme Google up. And then let's attach an energy. We will search your deck for a basic, put it onto your bench, shuffle. Let's do that attack. Sure thing. What other basic? Do we want Xian Pao? Hmm. Or another. We have two Gimigul. I think a Radiant Greninja for that draw, because like I said, we're having a lot of issue. We have the energy, but we aren't um, drawing that easily yet because, yeah, we don't have that support. So we'll grab that, put it onto the bench, um, and then we are going to obviously conceal the card. So let's. Whoa there. Let's do that ability where we discard an energy, draw two. Discard, woo, one, two, boost shake. Search your deck for a Pokemon that evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it. So I believe I can simply use this to find out gold, find Goldango, and we can evolve it finally. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we'll get that. Now, evolve there. We can use his ability to draw two cards once he's in the active. If he's not in the active, it's draw one, but he is. Um, we got this stuff, that's cool. And let's get some energy back. Well, obviously, yes, yeah, so we have a good amount. I think that might be a good idea. Um, but I need, I can't attack actually, cause I would need steel energy. Um, and we haven't come across the, I keep saying steel, like the metal energy. So because of that, I think no switch yet that I can do. Um, other, but yeah, I think that's it. It, we can pass off. You can attack, but let's see. Boss's orders, that's cool. Um, all right, not two is down here too. Let's do this evolution. So let's attach it. The Pokemon this card is, okay. We can attach it to you, I guess, because we need that one energy. So the Pokemon this card is attached to, you can use it. Um, choose two of your bench Pokemon for that and then for each of those, search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon, put it onto that and to evolve it and then shuffle your deck. And then since it's like an attack, um, this gets discarded and then it'll end the turn, but at least we can get some draw support up with Zatu. So let's get Zatu. And I think, where is our, yeah, here we go. Zatu. Perfect. And it is the pre-release Zatu's. I really like them. 
but even the regular one is great. And Zatu is gonna be like a really great card, I think, for a number of decks for that draw support. Um, because it allows you to, once during your turn, attach a basic psychic energy card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon, and if you do, draw two. So, let's see. We're gonna evolve thanks to that, and end the turn. <laughs> so, pass it off. Let's see. Oh, boy. Um, I want to... Goodness... Because I w we need the like Mel energy, or I guess we can use we can stack Chi and Pao try to, but one at a time. Or let's concealed cards again. The abilities um, that's very helpful, obviously. And I sometimes forget. There's Goldengo. There's a Heavy Ball. Uh, let's do that um, ability for two. Got Gimmigul. We got Penny. <laughs> okay, well we can do Gimmigul. Evolve there. And then, I mean, no, what am I doing? <laughs> we can put you down. We can evolve there. Do one card, bonus card. It's Golango. I can't do the same, I don't think, the same. Um, Chirachi, it, Penny, something superior. I just need to get the Metal energy, I guess that's the uh, thing. So I either need to get like knocked out to uh, search, or I want to do, you know, charge energy works, but, oh boy. This is my attachment for turn. And I guess next turn I might just have to attach and we'll see, so pass it off. We got a nest ball, that's cool. We got, some of this. <laughs> Boss's order might be nice. Um, now you can attack, I believe, yeah. And let's attach energy to um, our other Iron Valiant. Here we go. Getting ready, I guess. That needs to go there. Um, and then I think we can certainly just boss for the KO on something. Um, I guess the Greninja. Get rid of that draw support as well and stuff. So, boss's orders. Up oh, the Greninja. And for the knockout. So, that gets knocked out. I will just keep that in the spot. And then take a prize. Okie dokie, on to here. We got a cross switcher. That's something. Um, but once again, let's see if we can get something, some energy and stuff. So draw two. Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball. Oh no. Draw one here. Skaters Park. Um, let's see. Actually, we could find a tool. Is there a tool to find? I don't know. But I think I will bump that. We'll do Skater's Park. Get rid of that. Um, we can also evolve another Goldango. Or, yeah, so, and then use that ability to draw one. Oh, boy. Let's try this out. So, Retreat. We'll put this on to Retreat. Discard those. We're gonna need energy back. Let's put Jirachi up. Put you there. There you go. Use the attack. Charge energy. Search your deck for two basic energy cards. Reveal them. Put them in your hand. And as you can see, here's our steel energy hiding. So, there's two. Okay. And once again, because this is like just me playing, I, the, this is obviously like fodder for um, chaotic for like INO and stuff. But for this, like I said, I'm not the best player, I guess, but it's something. So that's the attack moves to here. You can't attack, I guess. Um, let's, yeah, see, I know. Yeah, let's play, I know that's probably best. Or, you know, we have three and then six, but I think they would assume I have some energy pilot. I don't know. I think I knowing is fine. So yeah, shuffle this, I guess. Because I'm kind of chilling, I think. 
I don't know. No, I mean, I, it's whatever. So there's that. Um, and then <laughs> this one's a little bigger. Um, but with all this draw support, that's pretty nice. With all the Goldengo, that's pretty nice. Even with Greninja gone and stuff. And then we will draw six, yeah? Four, five, six. Let's see. Okay, this is like a boss item. And then we also have Iron Bundle and Arvin. Here's a good tool, Luxurious Cape. Um, and then as for an item, maybe we can go ahead and do Witch Cart or something. I think I will go ahead and, um, I don't think, are there rule boxes? He's already got a tool, but I'm wondering about rule boxes there, but I'll attach here. Might as well. There's Delibird, there's Counter Catchers, there's Switch Cart. I guess we will switch um, so that we can attack and do more damage as well. Chip damage and whatnot. Um, although we do need another energy. Oh dear. And no. Don't quite have that, nor an ability to do much with it. So, I guess I'll just pass. Okay, energy lotto. Look at the top. Well, we have um, still no metal energy. Let's try this. Look at the top seven of the cards of your deck and then see an energy card and you can get that. Top seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Need that metal energy. Probably should have added more then, but no. <laughs> Nothing there. Oh man, and I forgot to do the um, ability, the tacky, yeah, the bits. I guess I will still do that because that is damage that needs to be done. Oh boy. Let's see. Let's ear Irida. Do we have, we have Shinpao for the water. I guess we'll just grab another energy retrieval. We're gonna need that anyway. I guess we can do that. Or also go ahead and attack and charge energy. So search for up to two basic energy. So let's just try that strategy again of finding there's one and there's two. And then that ends the turn, I guess. So very vulnerable Jirachi. Counter catcher, counter catcher. Should probably go for a bigger knockout, so. Um, but I don't have the energy, but I do have free retreat and should be able to do it with this Iron Valiant. And then we're also gonna get that 20 damage again since that one moved up. And then how about we go ahead and counter catcher you can use this card if you have, oh no, if you have more prize cards, oopsie doopsie. So, um, more remaining. So yeah, that that's not for me. Still, I guess we can knock out Jirachi. Might as well. This stuff just lying around. <laughs> okay, put you down. Promote, finally attach. Probably should have, well, we can do Letter of Encouragement. So, Jirachi got knocked out. We can get three basic energy cards, put them in the hand. So search the deck. Let's see. I, a lot of energy is in there. I'm gonna, I don't think there's much energy in here. So we're gonna have to superior energy retrieval. But this is still something, getting the last of it out. Yep, that is the last. And then we are going to have to do that. But that's fine. Can do. Superior energy retrieval. Let's drop our support. Let's drop them. Get four energy out of here. 
and it can be water. And we're gonna do our attack. So here's four. Got that out. Chin Pao is kind of AFK now that there's not really anything in the deck, but that's okay. Um, we can also draw for one. We got Pidgey. I can put that down. We can draw for one here. Letter of Encouragement. Draw for two here. We got Gimmigool. Superior. Um, do we want to do that again? Maybe we can. Maybe we should. So if we Superior Energy Retrieve, remove... <laughs> We'll retrieve again. Um, we can discard. Probably not. Probably the Gimmigool and a letter. And then get whatever else is in here. Yeah, so we got three in here. Let's see. I think so. No, we got it. There's the four. Cool. So we're lining it up. How much is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten. <laughs> um, so let's see. We can do 50 for each discarded. So we're going to hit 200. Let's do that. I think, is there any? Yeah, no. 200, so like, I guess 50, 100, 150, 200 for the knockout. We still have a lot, a good amount of energy and the retrievals, so that's good. Get one out of there. It's kind of rough. We can promote other one and then get that damage off too as well. Um, sorry, Goldingo. Put you on there. Okay. Gonna need energy, <laughs> and I don't have it. I've got um, Techno Radar to search out future Pokemon. I've got the Counter Catchers. I can't do that. I don't think I can do a Bravery Charm. Um, but yeah, and I can't. Yeah, so I think yeah, this has been unfortunate. I have not been. I've been having trouble finding energy. I think I have to pass it off. Yeah, so it's got 250 now, but oof, that did not feel good. Defiance Vest, if you have more prize cards than your opponent, the uh, Pokemon this card is attached to takes 40 less damage from attacks. Um, maybe it might as well. It's a tool card. Attach. Um, and then I think we might as well go for that big knockout again. So we're going to need 250. So... 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. Amazing. <laughs> so that's two. And uh, we're tied just in those turns. It, it, rocky start, but now not much is happening here. I mean, what can what can we do? I know I've got plus 100, so this Zatu has 200. But still, I need to get energy or something. I can at least Ultra Ball for hopefully a new one. Let's Ultra Ball away um, the oof, counter counter catcher. Um, well, we can do maybe let's do that. Whoa. Let's search out. Uh, do I have another See, guy. Yeah, we can. Tr Ugh. But if I, I need a way to get energy. I've got fog crystals in the deck, but the fog crystals we haven't really seen, and even then, the fog crystal only gets like maybe they get one basic energy you can get. Um, but the dr yeah, I think I just need more energy and whatnot, or I don't know. It's it's interesting to see it shape out. Let's see. Because you can't attack, but maybe we can do Techno Radar as well to find two future Pokemon as well. I guess, I think the only other ones are Jugulus and then Iron Bundle. So we can get them. Um, we can use the ability of Iron Bundle to 
get rid of the active Pokemon, and I think that would probably be best for sure, maybe, to get that Golden Go out of here. Um, it's just another, but yeah, so if you use this ability, Hyper Blower, once during your turn, if the Pokemon is in your bench, and you can switch it out, switch out your active Pokemon, um, your opponents, and then to the bench, and your opponent chooses the new active, and then you discard. So I will just promote another one, but that does gust it out. So there's Goldango, here's that. Do need another energy attachment, but I don't think there's an issue at all. Yeah, we just put down one. It takes one energy, that is fantastic. And then with, let's see, Boss of Litter, Garusha, that. Uh, let's do that ability, get two. We're gonna need superior energy retrieval. Um, do one. Do one. We got it. Superior energy retrieval. Uh, let's discard Manaphy. Rare candy. Get energy out of here. Um, let's see. And we're about to take, I guess, the Zatu. So there's four. And we will, I guess, swing for 200 again. Um, unfortunately, it's only one prize, but that's okay. We are one step closer. Um, and that's awesome. And if it's knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, that player takes one more prize card. So that might be game, because I think, yeah, does... That player takes one more prize, yeah. I would say so. Please correct me. I'm still a newish player, and so this isn't like. I guess that's game. So you saw how. Um, all right. This was fun. Um, like I said, I apologize. I know there's probably some misplays or like better strategies there or better things, but like I just wanted to try and have some fun, show it off. And I did have fun, this was great. I can't wait to play with it a little bit more. Um, and let me know your thoughts as well. Thank you so much for watching if you got to the end. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. But yeah, no, thank you so much. And uh, hope it was entertaining. Have a good night. Good day, good night, all that. See you next time. Bye-bye.